All right, in this video, we have a uh, equation and it represents a circle. We want to move this equation into the standard form of a circle. So the first thing that uh, we should do is group together our x's and our y's. So let's just rewrite this so that I have uh, an x squared minus 20x. Okay, I'll put this together. And then uh, I also have the y squared minus 8y. I'll group that together um, and then we also want to get rid of this extra 80 here so um, I'm gonna subtract out this 80 from the top part any any number you have extra you want to get rid of it uh, so then let's move it to the right side okay so now that's what I have at this point I want to try completing the square so um, I'm going to do uh, the x's first. Uh, we want to take this number right here and divide it by 2, which gives us negative 10. And then we take that number, which is negative 10, square it, and that gives us 100. Um, let's hold on to that part for a little bit. Let's move to the y right here. We take this number and we do the same thing. So. I'm going to do negative 8 divided by 2, which is negative 4, and then we square that number, which gives us positive 16. Now I'm going to rewrite um, my equation, and I'm going to add in both of these numbers that we found, uh, this 100 and this 16. So we've got x squared minus 20 plus 100. Okay, let me fix that there. And we need an x there. Plus, we've got y squared minus 8y. And then we're going to add in 16. Okay, now we originally had a negative 80 on the right side, but because we added in 100 on the left side, we also want to add in 100 over here. And then we also added in a 16 here. So let's add 16. And when I rewrite this, I want to factor this part. So when we factor this trinomial, we're going to have x minus 10. That's going to be squared. Plus, we're going to have y minus 4. And that's squared. And that's all equal to negative 80 plus 100 plus 16 is 36 so I write that in there now now that we have our equation written in the standard form of circle um, let's just call out the H the K and then the, the R which is the radius so I'm gonna rewrite my formula for a circle right here y minus k we're squaring that and that's all set equal to R squared your R right here is the radius so uh, we ask ourselves, h is what's being subtracted from x. So what's being subtracted? That's a positive 10. So our h is going to be 10. And then what's being subtracted from y? That's going to be our k. So 4 is being subtracted from our y. So that's going to be our k. So that means our center, which is a formula of h comma k, and this equation is going to be 10 comma 4 and then the radius is the uh, r squared right here and uh, what's being squared to get 36 it's going to be 6 or you could say 36 equals r squared you'd want to solve that so you would take the square root of both sides which means the radius would have to be 6 and uh, that's basically how you move a uh, an equation into the standard form of a circle and then call out the center and the radius.